Well, hey there team and welcome back to the channel and welcome to Dark Deity. So this game apparently shadow dropped over E3. I, I must have missed it. I'm not really following E3 too closely this year, but it always makes me smile back to the days of, say, like Fallout Shelter. So that's always cool to hear about. It's developed by Sword and Axe and published by Freedom Games. I'm not super familiar, but... um. If this is touting itself to be what's called an SRPG, I had to look it up because I haven't heard that term before. Essentially, if you think of something like Fire Emblem, right? So like a tactics game, a lot of units, maybe a lot of really different diverse units, maybe even with a permadeath system. Um, I got, Fire Emblem's great. I want to play more. I played more of it when I was younger, to be honest, some of the older installments. So that should give you an idea of what, what we're going into here. This is a Fire Emblem-esque game, but uh, done on like an indie budget. So I'm looking forward to it. Their blurb goes, Command. Legendary heroes to reshape a land fractured by broken oaths, reckless wars, and secret arcane powers. Claim ancient artifacts and powerful weapons to empower your cast of 30 voiced playable characters as they form bonds and battle their way to become legends. That's pretty cool, if not vague, but the, the all the voice actors, that's cool. So yeah, I guess uh, that sets it up fairly well. Let's get into it and give it a burl. Mortal. For those who have an easier time with strategy games, go on experience turned up or enemies turned down. Experience gold and aptitude set to their regular levels. Yes, the intended mode of play for most players. That's that's it. You give me the intended level and I will play on the intended level. Thank you, game. All right, let's go. It is said that in the Age of Ascension, the gods walked among mortals and mortals among the gods. Okay. That a great empire spread itself thin across the known world, conquering land after land with its superior technology and magic. That the people of Terrazale, Ter 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 Terrazial, okay, came together in peace. Little is left from that time, swept away in a deadly cataclysm known as the Calamity. Thousands of years later, all that remains of life before the Calamity are ancient temples to the gods and the divine artifacts can, contained therein. It is the year 1105 in the Imperial Calendar. Oh wow, look at this map, there's a lot going on there. The Kingdom of Delia lies at the heart of Etland, a national, or sorry, a nation that has long thrived off of continental trade and lush farmlands. Though peace had reigned for over 25 years, Dalian's king, or Dalia, Dalia's king, now sets his eyes on an enemy of his own construction. Oh. King Varric of Valdestar assumed the throne a decade ago. On that day, his father, or rather, on the day his father, Fasil, was assassinated by unknown parties. Through this day, Varric is convinced that the assassins were sent by the Aramoran royal family. To this day, it remains unproven. Following a minor border dispute that normally would reach resolution painlessly, King Varric resolved to attain his revenge. After sending a covert Delian force to burn the Aramoran the Aramoran city of Alaris to the ground. Oh my god, some of these words are making my tongue tied. Varric and his thirst for revenge have plunged his kingdom into a war it is ill prepared for. Pressed for more troops, King Varric must make hard decisions. He looks now to Brookstead, the site of Delia's most prestigious officer academy. Each year, its graduating class bolsters Delia's forces, a pact and tradition that has lasted a millennium. The young king believes the solution to his troop issues lies in a new path. He intends to recruit not only the graduate year, but every student currently enrolled. Oh, okay. In quiet Brookstead, students have worked hard all year to stand out among their peers. The academy trials provide an opportunity to advance in the class rank or fall behind. For many, it is most important uh, it is the most important day of the year. Though the trials can be stressful, many agree that a life of training with such clear goals is simple, enjoyable even. I can, I can get around that. 
come tomorrow, they will find that life may never be so simple again. A dark, dark deity, chapter one, a journey afoot. Right, okay, bit of a bit of an information dump, but um, it's all right. I don't mind. I don't mind where we're going with this. Am I supposed to click? Is that what's going on? Select a game slot. Okay, so, yes. Select a slot. Yep, yep. Okay, cool. Irving. What do you think Galen's got brewed up for the trials this year? And who's this Garrick? Whatever it is, I'm sure it's tailored to make our lives difficult. You'd think that he'd do that just to punish us for choosing Alden. There's a lot of names flying around of dudes that all look the same. I was up at the crack of dawn hearing, no son of mine should jeopardize a mission for sentiment. Well, we couldn't pick Marin without Alden. Oh my God. What about uh, Brandon and, and Jasmine and, and Bob and Frank and so, so many names already. <laughs> that was the deal. I think he just can't stomach the thought that his pride and joy might fail. His pride and joy is standing right in front of me. Huh, either way, I'm right. Besides, Alden is talented, even if your father doesn't see it. Uh, why don't you try convincing the Swordmaster that a 14-year-old who can't lift a training staff can best an 18-year-old graduate? Who's 14? Are you guys 14? There's a reason he doesn't teach conjuring. Your dad wouldn't trust a mage as far as he could throw them. Fair enough, dad seems like a sensible man. Now that you mention it, I wonder how far he actually could throw Alden. I'd wager you could put a good toss on the tie. Right, okay. That might be Alden there. I'll pretend I didn't hear that, is Marin. How are you boys feeling about the big day? Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm confident we'll pass. We certainly put in the training. And that's Alden, okay. And he's 14. So that's Sheila next to him, 14? I think so as well, right? Of course we'll pass. But I want to break Sterling's record. Cool the forge there, little man. Uh, but I'm on the best team of any first year. I think what Alden is trying to say is that he really appreciates being on the team. Good. Now I'm going to need you to focus that appreciation, Alden. There's a lot at stake for your sister. Is that his sister? Right. If we win, I won't have anything to worry about when Marin leaves for the army because I'll know she's ready. Oh. Well, there goes the mood. Promise you'll focus today and give it everything you've got, okay? Promise. Let's get going. Can't miss the trials standing around for a chat. <laughs> and you're a brother as well. So the three of them, brother and sister. If father doesn't kill me, being stuck on a team with Alden just might. Goodness. Okay. Okay. Jesus. I need a bloody roadmap to understand what's going on here. Look at this pixel art though. Yes. I can get around this. Galen. You know the rules, so you're the like the crusty old sergeant running the show, are you? And he looks all of bloody, you know, 21 years old and part of a, a boy band. You know the rules? All non-lethal strategies to defeat your opponents are fair game. That's not really a rule. Defeat the leader of this regiment to complete the trials, you all recognize him. Oh, hang on, what's just happened here? It's clicked off me screen. Sorry, team. We're prepared for this. There's Irving. Oh, they've highlighted him as well. Right, he's got a little shield and red hair. Cool. Uh, Olden Garrick, stay close behind. It'll be all right. right, we're trying to fight to the right, even though everyone's looking to the left. That's a little confusing. There's Marin with her purple hair. If you take any hits, I'm ready to patch you up. Right, so you're a healer. Can we go already? All right, he's got his little hat. And so the trolls begin with such style and grace, I might add. Oh, that's Galen on the sidelines. And Garrick's got a bloody bow and arrow. Just dripping with sincerity today, aren't we, Dad? That's Dad? Wait, oh my, okay, yeah. That's your dad? I guess you both have green hair. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness, okay. What is, what is LC? Is that a button? Left click. Oh, that's like a mouse left click. That's a, that, that, oh my, okay. That's new. That's new. Um, proceed through the, the the Brookstead trials by defeating Sterling and his allies. Our RC is right click. Okay, okay. You know what? I kind of like that little picture. Why is enemy enemy ranges? What like is in Y on my keyboard? Oh, oh, oh. Wait, why is it all red? Why is just everything red? 
enemy range. How dinky is this music? Shift unit info. Oh, wow, look at this dude. He's just a dude. He's just some nameless bloody goober. Right, what about you? You're also a Dalian. You're a ranger. You're a cleric. You're a warrior. And who's this bloody bloke at the end? He's a mage. All right, cool. Right click is my menu. Defeat boss. Proceed through the Brookstead trials by defeating Sterling and his allies. Tips. What's what's that? Stats. Hit point. How many? Oh, strength. Oh, no, okay. No, no. That's not really what I was going for there. Okay, but that's fine. Okay, cool. All right. Well, let's bloody uh, let's bloody get amongst it. I'll take point. Yeah, you should. How about we go? Can I stick you in the center like that? What's push do? That's cool. Um, trade, weight, item and stats. I don't know if I can trade with these dudes. I don't know if they're up for it. Uh, attack. Let's go. Long sword. Cycle weapons. You know what? This might be better off with a gamepad. Can, uh, can I just quickly switch to the gamepad? Is that a thing or not? Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. That's all right. Okay, hang on. Let's try this again. Attack. You. Long sword. No. Uh, wait, why did you reset that thing? Oh, for crying out loud. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. You click off and it just puts him straight back. This is killing me, man. Attack him. All right. Arrow keys will be saber. Kodachi. How many bloody swords do I have? Okay, we've got all my different hit rates. What does the most damage? This, the long sword. Enter to attack. Here we go. Oh, look at that art. That is sick. Oh, good dodge, mate. The guys look identical to me. Okay, that's fine. So I'm greyed out. So this is like a bloody Advance Wars, right? Um, God, can I save this game or something? Is that a, is that a thing? I really, really want to play this with the uh, controller. Um, made with Game Maker. Okay, um, I see. Yeah, what is going on? It really flickers off screen a lot. Here we go. Let's go. Now I'm going with the controller. Oh goodness me. Oh, we got to go through all this again. That's fine. All right. Okay, good to know that the control is a thing, though. I think this might be the... I should have probably guessed that from the beginning. Because, uh, you know, Fire Emblem, you play on, like, a DS or something like that. So you'd have, you know, you'd have D-pads and that. You know the rules? This is Dad. Apparently, this man is old enough to have fathered all of these bloody kids. I bet Mum's got purple hair. All right. Well, maybe he's not brothers with those two purple-haired ones. Oh. Oh. Whatever. Okay, proceed. Here we go. Here we go. This is better. This is this is more like it. Roger. Okay. In you go. Bang. All right. Attack. That'll do. It's auto picking targets for me. Short sword. Yes. Or long sword. Whatever. Except we got hit this time around. Ah, oh, bugger. That's okay. That's okay. Cycle units. Even better. All right. Let's um. Unit info, range two, menu, oh, I can't attack, so it actually, yeah, okay, okay, haste, attack, war bow, that's all he's got, okay, here we go, give him a zap, boom, holy heck, bloody hits like a truck. Oh, look, they all got little love hearts. Oh, and there's arrows saying what? What do those arrows mean? Who who they're a good matchup for, perhaps. All right. Unit info, what's your range, mate? Range one to two. Okay. Arcane Blast. Let's go. A and B. I don't know what the A and B thing's about. All right, that man's dead. Okay. Now, what about you? 
Info. Uh, items. No, no, no. I want unit info. Range one. So what she got? Hammer, flail, mace, pickaxe. And uh, she has a spicy meter ball in her inventory. Okay. Maybe we, uh, like, see that up arrow? What is that telling me? You know what I mean? Ah, oh, we'll figure it out. Let's get it a bash. We don't really need the healing that much at the moment. Hammer. 14 damage with the hammer. Dude, my main guy is absolutely weak source compared to everyone else. And ADV, advantage, perhaps? A and E. Look, he's E class. Yeah, right. Be careful. Oh, that art is really cool. All right, now we're getting the hang of it. Let's go. Player phase. Oh, they're not moving. Wait, they don't move? I just have to bash them all? Yeah, so he's got a down arrow. Huh. Um. All right, so she's like a cleric. What's her? Oh, she is a cleric. That's what it says, cleric. 28 hit points. 28. But, oh, wait, we all have to point out 22. Mage, Ranger. Right, so she's supposed to frontline a bit as well, is the idea. Okay, see his little symbol for armor? I don't know what that means, but... It I can't press on the symbol. Natural Leader. Allies within two tails gain 5 XP when Irving defeats an enemy. Oh. Okay, now let's t tell me more. No, 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 I want to see your info. Healed for 40% of any heal given. Oh, okay. Brit steal 15% damage. Can't get less than four stats when leveling. Slumbering strength. All right, so he's a carry. Okay. All right, let's get up there and start zapping, I guess. If I put you here and attack this dude. Zap. Good zap. Oh, so you're a cleric as well. Okay, okay interesting. Um, I might uh, I might do the same sort of thing here. Okay. E and F. Um, what we might do is put her... Boots. Right, and then we'll try and get that XP bonus for as many of the dudes as possible within two squares, wasn't it? So he can push people, which is interesting. Right, so they all got little love hearts, so they got some bonus XP. All right, here comes this dude. She gets the bomb, my good. She hits a lot harder than that bloke. Now, how do we, uh, nine? Am I able to kill him with this dude? Damage, eight. Oh, I, I pressed the bumpers to change. I can't quite kill him. Hang on, what can we... Right. Here we go. Flail. Mace. Pickaxe. What's the... How do I do the smallest amount of damage? This. Let's go. Oh, good. Good, good, good. And uh, she's going to take a hit. That's all right. She can handle that. And then he's going to... Get the last hit. 100%. Hundred percent, hundred percent sounds good. Let's do that. Nice. Get out here. F. Okay. Cool. All right. This should be fun. Oh, will he shoot back? Well, we will too. That is an interesting twist on it, isn't it? How do I cycle units? Here we go. Can I arcane blast, force, beam, arcane missiles? 
Let's try that arcane missile, see what happens. Nice. Alright. Oh, he gets another bloody hit. Times two means they... Okay, okay, I see. And now they're going to attack. Oh, they, oh, look at that. Does he get another one? Oh, we won't know. We won't know. Oh, does he get another one? He does. Look at that. This guy's just going to kill everyone. Absolutely unbelievable. All right, he's leveled up. All right, yeah, Elden, get excited, man. All right, I like these all these dudes. Now, um, this Sheila can heal. Is there a range on her heal? Oh, it, I think it's a point. I think it's point blank. Here we go. Yeah, it's point blank. Olden. Wait, what? Let's. We're gonna bash him with a. Pickaxe? Okay, that's weird that it made me choose that, but she would have also healed as well. That's wonderful. Okay, cool. Mate, you need to you need to get up there. Wait. Oh, dude, look at this. There's, there's some blade dancing looking dude there at the end. Alright. Phase? What does phase do? Phase. Phase the target. Across to the opposite tile. Oh. Can you do anything? Not really. Okay. That's, uh... How do I... Can I end turn? In turn. Here we go. Wait. Wait. Let's do it. All right, so it's always E, so that doesn't make a difference. 22 to 12, what does that mean? Oh, that's the predicted amount that their health is going to go down, perhaps? Force, let's try that. Right, okay, yeah, it predicts how their health's gonna go. I see. Okay. I don't know if I'll be able to reach him diagonally. Nah, it's a bit sad. Dodge! Oh, mate, you're gonna get clobbered now. Oh, no, wait, she's, yeah, okay, she's out of range. Little brother, certainly you don't think you can take me on. Oh my god. Sterling? Oh right, it's his brother. You're going down. Oh, look out. Okay. Hang on. Right? Six to zero, six to zero. There we go. So the prediction is we're going to thud this dude. Let's do, I don't know, with a short sword. That'll do. Look at that. All right, I'm starting to understand how the stat system works. You'll have to bear with me. It's been a long time since I've played a game in this sort of space. I'm actually quite fond of this. Um, I can already tell you, though, like, it's going to definitely be, like, a long, long slog, right? Like, this has taken me half an hour to just get a bit of dialogue down and play the first sort of... Oh, wow, she gets XP for healing. My hard work is paying off. You know, like, one battle is going to take a long time. I'm sure you could zip through it if you weren't some goober on the internet talking into his microphone. But, um, but you know what I mean? It's not like the... Uh, it's not like it's super short and punchy. Okay. Let's see. Um, probably makes a lot of sense to make sure that my shooters are in range and firing. Right? 10. That sounds good. Let's do that. Okay, there doesn't seem to be any variance in the damage either, so the damage is kind of bankable. Um. Oh, zero? Let's go. Dude! 
absolutely annihilated. Um, I can kill this dude. Hang on. Let's see if we can get her in range so I can try and give everyone... I probably could have healed someone. Attack. Zero. Let's go. Oh, he's going to hit back. That's right, but I'm going to finish the job. Nice. Dude, this game is actually awesome. I really like this a lot. Is he going to run out and take me? Nah. Sook. Um, can I get like an angle on you like this? Six. 79%. Let's go. All right, so here's a question. If I were to move you to there... ...and go, wait, does that end your turn? It does, by the look of it. Okay, that's fine. Nice. Didn't even get a swing, mate. Gain one tier one token, okay. Turns taken. MVP was Olden. Good work, Olden. Healing. It doesn't say the XP that we got, though. It would have been cool to... What's this? Sort? Advance. I don't know. The other button. Okay. I like, I like this a lot. Sterling. Not bad, little brother. You and your friends put up quite a fight. A humble in defeat. What a lad. I'm glad to hear it. By Vosh, you've all grown. It was quite a thrill. A thrill indeed. Here, here we go, cranky dad. Surprised father, congratulations, son. All of you should be very proud of what you accomplished today, especially Marin. You especially, Marin. Thank you, Master Galen. And now that you've uh, had your thrill, Commander, I believe some kind of explanation is in order. Of course, as I promised, brother, friends, if you'll excuse us, Forgive me, I've hardened in my years, Sterling, but I don't expect this is a nostalgic visit. Unfortunately not, sir. You were never one to live in the past, always onwards and upwards. Hmm. Tell me, how goes the war effort? At the moment, our prospects are grim. In fact, that's what brings me here. I see, come to size up our latest graduates, uh, not quite, the king plans to recruit the entire academy. Naturally. There's no finer school to supply your ranks, though I hope to see the wars end well before our youngest graduate. Oh, I think he's missed the point. Actually, I'm afraid he wants them now, sir. All of them. Uh, is that so? Well, I didn't think he had the gall. Tell me, Commander, what plans does our king have in mind for the initiates? Perhaps four together could load a catapult. <laughs> I wish I could say. Hmm, always a man of duty. The king is foolish to sever the pact. His father would not have heard of it. Fassel was a good man. With all due respect, sir, what better way to avenge his father than join the ranks of those bringing justice to Aramor? So as I understand it, this, this, uh, this training facility is more like, um, more like a public university is, is uh, what I get. Uh, which was, at, at first I didn't quite get it, but I didn't say anything because like, you know, if it was a military training academy, then you'd assume everyone goes straight into the military. But in this world, it would seem it's more like you can train up as a warrior or whatever, but only a couple of people through the pact get poached and taken into the, the actual military from this academy. Took me a moment to realize that. Guard your suspicions, Commander. And do not speak so eagerly of war. If the king wishes it, he shall have his soldiers. I only hope you, of all people, understand the gravity of this decision. All too well. So it's like conscription at this point, right? They're basically force recruiting every recruit straight out of, I don't know, like Melbourne Uni or something. Because that'd really help. That's exactly what you need. A whole bunch of bloody first year uni students. Um, select a save slot. Save. Right, and then when we reloaded our save, it actually loaded from here. We had to do all the dialogue all over again. Okay, cool. Look at all these dudes, ready to go. Nice. Oh, this is the graduating class, and they all look exactly the same, except our named characters. Ah, whatever, that's fine. Um, cool. 
This is really cool. I like it. I like it a lot. It's definitely going to be a slower sort of burn, so I'm happy to at least showcase it. Again, it's been a long time since I've played this sort of game. Too long, I would say. If anything, this has rekindled my spirit for this genre again. Um, but if you're a bit closer to this sort of thing, maybe this is just standard fare. It didn't seem to be doing anything wrong, you know. I, it took me a little bit to get my head around all the sort of statistics, but I quite like the sort of simplicity in the execution, you know. It's not like... It was just as straightforward as move the dude up, press go, pick the weapon and off you go. Like, it's pretty straightforward and then the strategy and tactics will evolve out of that. I, I prefer that over having an overly complex sort of unit interaction system. So this is really cool. Um, but yeah, like I said, definitely uh, of the, the longer form of the slower burn. So I'm happy to shout it out and let people know that this exists and they should check it out if it interests them. Make sure you let me know if you want to see more on the channel. Um, I'd be happy to sink a whole bunch of time into playing this, but only if that's what you guys want to see. So I guess we'll see. Team, thanks again for joining me. We might just leave it there for the time being and I will catch you guys on the next one.